What's going on everybody on the scene here <laughs> definitely one of my all-time favorite properties because we did 90 percent of landscaping here so we got through all these beds today trim the pompous grass fertilize the shrubs um do a clean up edge of beds put down mulch and got something special coming up that you guys are going to love to watch and uh i've been waiting to do it for a couple years so yeah stay tuned um not in the best moves this morning not really sure why it's friday morning but uh yeah maybe we'll talk about it later yeah <laughs> kind of know why so let's get started on the work Nothing. Gather around. It's time to uh, call a community meeting and have a serious discussion about a few things going on this springtime. So have a seat at the round table and we'll discuss a couple different ways and reasons that we're losing customers and why they go away sometimes. Now, if you've been following this channel, you'll know I'm not gonna lose clients over lack of perfection or expertise out here. I always make sure everything is up to top level and we do a good job at everything we say we're gonna do. That being said, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I just took a hit, like a big hit, and all of us go through it, whether or not we're honest, and we talk about it, that's a whole different story. <laughs> well, on my channel, here on Life Stories, we're going to be honest with you about every angle out here in this lifestyle of lawn care, landscaping, property maintenance. And about everything when it comes down to life. So without further ado, you have clients that leave you because, well, I'm going to go back to mowing my own grass this year. Okay, check that one off the list for me. That just happened to me. Lost me $1,920 of mowings, plus 12 scoops of mulching and uh, some bush trimming every single year. Another one is, well, me personally, I don't like mowing around dog poop, okay? I also don't like having to schedule early or late or weekend visits for commercial properties. So, check that box also for me. I just dropped a, a commercial property and another duplex that was always covered in dog poop. That was 1920 for mowing on one, 2280 on the other, plus mulching. Okay. Now, this one's a little bit out of the ordinary. <laughs> it doesn't happen to many people because not many people have honey holes, like these big, large accounts on big estates that they keep for years and years. Well, I've been very blessed, and I have this property on many videos in the past it's huge it's my farm property this property the owners are getting older they're tired of dealing with a whole lot of contractors with remodeling and you know when you have a large estate it takes a lot of different people to keep it up they are going with a, a complete estate company that hires their own contractors and deals with every aspect of the estate okay so I knew last year I was gonna lose that one that being said fifteen thousand dollars that's what that hit was when you lose a honey hole you notice huh, the honey is missing the hive is gone okay Whew, yeah so I'm taking deep breaths day by day I keep checking these boxes here watch this real quick this thing's got damaged real bad. Some of it I think was 
teenagers running over it, but some of it, I don't know. It looks like a angry deer came and antlered it. I don't know. Whatever. I think they should come out. Nice and clean. No one to run over anything else. Whatever. Figure something out. So let's talk about one more box that can be checked off. And this happens very often. Once you start growing in your business, you end up hiring helpers, okay? And your clients will not be satisfied with just your helper's performance. Many of us out here doing this as a solo gig, our clients get used to our perfection level and anything less is unsatisfactory for them, okay? I get it. So those were some complaints on two properties side by side but the real thing that came down to was the guy across the street was charging twenty dollars less for that property which was the same size as mine now that neighbor threw the little bird gossip out there to them that this was available to them the economy the way it's hit this year the inflation the gas prices you know, hey, if I could save 680 bucks every year just for the guy cutting grass, it's only grass, right, Randall? Just cutting the grass. Hey, I get it. They went to a different company this year. We'll have to wait and see how that turns out because those are hard properties and he's doing it dirt cheap. Hmm. And I know he's not really a veteran out here, but he is one of our brothers and he was straight up honest with me. So I knew those two were coming before they even hit me with a text message. But the text message when I got it still hurt my feelings. <laughs> All right, so got to go ahead to trim these back. Got yeah, Ian working on them right now. Go ahead and hard pruned because this will grow back. This one was the worst. But it should come up. Last year, I trimmed this one back and this already grew back a lot. So we'll see how it goes. That's the size it should be. I think it's squished right here against the driveway. Got a good video about trimming those too. Look for that one. So as the days progressed and I've been working out here, I've definitely cleared my mind and my thoughts. I'm in good vibes now and I'm gonna hook this weeping blue atlas. I'm gonna hook this dude up majorly. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I've really been looking forward to taking care of this tree, being patient for it to grow, so I can start making it climb off this wall. When I picked the property up and we re-landscaped everything, it was a $15,000 landscape install. And these trees, placing strategic position against the walls, the climbing hydrangea plants we put up against the walls, the uh, power canthra bushes up against the walls. Look, I showed up, there was nothing but huge, empty brick walls everywhere. <laughs> so this weeping blue atlas is uh, gonna be creeping up this wall now. And it's eventually gonna have a beautiful design going all the way up to the top, all the way over to the next wall. I love this tree and it's definitely top of my list of training a beautiful tree specimen in your landscaping and making people just ooh and all over it. He's a crazy looking tree, but I definitely love him. I'll show you a close up of this uh, trunk structure. 
because the trunk on this one and the one down the chimney were just amazing looking. They costed, I think they were $2.40 a piece when I bought them. They were tiny, little seven gallons. Look at that beautiful trunk. Eventually I'll be able to trim stuff away and expose some of that stuff, but you see all the beautiful twists and turns. Hey, this is the first time I ever tried doing it, and it's been doing great. About eight years ago, we put this in. Alright, so I know I jumped the gun and moved on to a total different subject before I dropped the bomb figures on you guys. I lost those six properties. Total loss and revenue for me. <laughs> $30,000 straight up gone 30k so yeah I was kind of in a crazy mindset this morning and as the day progressed I thought about things I went home and did some math <laughs> math doesn't lie well it's time for me to go on the uh, mulching crew <laughs> I did the mulching crew, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and knock it out. They've done a little bit, not much at all. But they had to hand place it, so. I'm gonna use this little tripod that I'm using today. It's a little short, but uh, it's windy. Keep y'all balanced. We got like two hours to get that off and put down. Should be no issues. It's up to those guys. Bunch of clowns. <laughs> One of the things I love most about this lifestyle and my profession is the peace of mind it can bring you throughout a simple few hours of working hard. Just seeing this area right here and this tree and the results of our hard work a long time ago growing into this beautiful picture here really really brought my spirits up a lot so I started thinking like I said about the math and the numbers and I had to go home and double check everything because I knew last year I had picked up a whole lot of new clients and a whole lot of work um, it was the first season ever that I actually needed to have you know, two guys out here rolling with me to accomplish everything that was on my list. The more I thought about that, I started thinking, hey, how many, how many accounts did I pick up last year and this year? And when I did the numbers, I have picked up six more accounts. All right, so I just lost six and took a $30,000 hit. But I look back and I've picked up six also. And a change of ownership on my castle property, I was able to increase the fees on that because that one was locked in, grandfathered in from 10 years ago at a very, very low cost. And he was a close friend, so I never raised it. Now, that man and his wife moved into a new home that we will be taking care of as well. That's the second property. The, uh, one of the cul-de-sac mansions beside the castle up the, on the top of the hill changed ownership and I took over complete care of that place 100% his father had me come take over his other mansion across town well not across town 10 minutes away and now we have that account as well um, we picked up the beautiful huge forest property that brought us $10,000 with the tree work this winter that I have some amazing video footage on definitely go check those out and then we had the log home property that I picked up and we did an amazing stone job on that log home property another little set of videos that we did in the winter time so those six properties <laughs> and the extra work that we've done on them already and you add in the bushes and the mulching and all the other maintenance upkeeps on large estates. I took a huge, huge sigh of relief 
and a big smile because I know my schedule is going to be a whole lot less demanding this year and I'll be able to focus more on my bigger accounts because I also had accounts add on bed maintenance as a weekly chore duty service so those six accounts I just picked up we're talking $50,000 extra added on to my income so I lost six lost 30,000 picked up six of higher quality and more services that were needed on these large properties so I gained $20,000 so when I started picking up all that work last year there was a purpose for it and I knew it I had other properties that I did not like doing and I wanted to get rid of I was blessed and lucky enough to get the right clients to replace those other properties with better clients okay more income potential all around as you grow your business year to year this should always be your mindset is to find better properties and progress up the ladder in your finances especially if you're a solo entrepreneur out here doing this stuff Another amazing thing that happened, one of my friends that's been in business for 30 years decided to sell his business and go back to a 9 to 5 salary position somewhere else. I ran into him and he told me straight up, he's like, dude, he's like, you're going to be getting a lot of phone calls from all my other clients that I've done maintenance for in the past 30 years, as well as landscape installs that are coming up throughout the seasons. I'm just going to throw them over your way, take whatever you want leave whatever you don't so once again guys I didn't get all bent out of shape but I wasn't happy if you focus on the bad the bad vibes will hit you and stay with you if you let the good vibes flow and always think positive God will make everything work out as long as you keep on going work hard put the effort into life that effort will definitely come right back at you in your results hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't you better check see if you're subscribed hit that subscription and um yeah another beautiful job elite landscape style see what i got to say here That's a wrap for the day, everybody. Got a lot accomplished, and the uh, place is looking pretty tight. I'll be back tomorrow. Got some more areas to mulch. Got six of those scoops done, so I think we got about six more tomorrow. Hey, be kind. Love each other. Peace. Till next time.